Hey guys and welcome to the video. So today I'll be showing you how to uh, download voice meter and make your um, headset microphone sound like something that it is not. Like even close to actually being a studio microphone. As you can hear on my voice it's been changed a little bit um, and that is due to the software. So if you want to like sound like you almost have a studio microphone here's how to go. So the first thing you want is a voice meter and you can download it from this website which is vb-audio.com slash voice meter slash and in here you are able to scroll down if you click on voice meter and you can download the zip file or you can download the exe so it, it actually doesn't really matter, but uh, in this video we are going to download the EXE. So once you have installed it, um, it should open up something like this. But in the beginning, um, I want you to do a couple of things before we are continuing uh, as we speak. So we are going into and heading into sound. There are multiple ways if you are using Windows 11 um, or Windows 10. So what I want you to do is I want you to go into sound settings and in here you're able to change your um, playback recording and stuff like that. So what I want you to do is that I want you to uh, select your default device which is your headset I believe if you are um, a headset user. If you do not have a headset and you only have um, like yeah, stereo devices or something like that. Uh, you can uh, select that as default down here. Once that is done, we are going into um, communication and reduce the volume uh, of other words speak. I want you to turn this off and do nothing. It doesn't really change anything here, but I just wanted to make sure you also have that. It's quite an annoying feature many do not know about. And then into recording, and as you can see, I have three uh, microphones registered here. But what we want to do is that we want to go and find voice meter output, and we want to select the default device here. So you click on it and set as default. Now when that is done, um, and you're, it's set as default, you're going in and opening voice meter. And the first thing I want you to do is that I want you to take this bar which is here. There's this little dot on the left side. I want you to go down here and set it to here. You can play around with it a little bit. Know that yeah that's just fine. Then you can t toggle this up a little bit. I recommend doing that depending on how your sound. Uh, so you can always change that up. It might even have changed right now as we speak. The second uh, thing I want you to do is that I want you to click on A so it's getting disabled and you're clicking on B. If you cannot do that yet, that is because you need to go to hardware input here, click on 1. And here you can either use WDM or MME. Um, and it doesn't really matter, but usually I have had the best... Um, how can I say this? I, I have the best... Um, experience with WDM on uh, this one. Uh, typically uh, people are using MME on this one so it's all up to you if you want to copy my setting or not. Um, once that is done I want you to go um, over here on A and it probably want you to select a hardware out and you can uh, choose either A or a1 or A2, I want you to click on A1 and I want you to take MME on your headset and select your headset which is or your speakers um, and set that. Once that is done, um, you might be able to, if you speak, you might be able to hear yourself. So I want you to disable the B setting here and just copy my settings all around. So what you can see here, you basically just copy. Now you can even make this even better. So if you have uh, NVIDIA, you can use NVIDIA Broadcast. So you can mix this up, voice meter, 
you can mix this up with um, a noise cancelling program from um, NVIDIA. And in here, you can use the micro microphone uh, source, choose the voice meter, and then um, take the noise removal and set the strength up. And you can also um, use the room echo removal, which is also a pretty good um, feature here, to be honest. And then you s sound just like this, like me in the video. I'm not saying it's completely the same as having a studio microphone, which is definitely not. But I think we are coming uh, pretty close to that. And it's that easy, guys. So yeah, take care, stay safe, and uh, enjoy the cheap option of having a not real studio microphone. Bye.